Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Today we're doing a very short video on the Delta Pro 3. Uh, EcoFlow has announced the pricing, the specs, and we've also started to see a lot of videos popping up in the wild from influencers who've received sample units and have been using them and giving their impressions. And so we just want to take all that in, uh, go over what we now know, and I want to give my impressions from there. All right. All right. So the biggest thing is the price. EcoFlow announced the price right now. I mean, they've already discounted off of its MSRP. So the street price is around $3,000, $3,100, um, which in my opinion is, it's kind of a tough spot, right? Um, because at $3,100, you're not that far. It is a stretch, but you're not that far from a uh, Delta Pro Ultra, uh, particularly if you're buying a refurbished model directly from EcoFlow with their full warranty and everything from their eBay store at $4,500, $4,600. Uh, and you get considerably more capabilities in terms of input and output. So I, I will say from a price point, it's, it's kind of steep. Now I will say it's probably the highest price it's going to be. It will only go down from here, but it's probably going to stay at that 3,100 for the majority of this year, if not further. So that's the, that's the first thing we found out. Second thing we found out is that the Delta Pro 3 is being posited um, by EcoFlow and most of the influencers as the best portable whole home power solution, um, which maybe that's true. <laughs> I would definitely push back on the whole portable concept because the thing weighs 113 pounds. It's not really portable. Um, and it, it's hard for me to buy the argument that it's even more portable than an Ultra because basically the Ultra has four wheels, which makes it a little easier to wheel around. And the Pro has the, the two with the handle. So it's like, I don't know that I, that I buy the portable argument. And this is definitely gonna be something that you buy and pretty much leave in, in place. Even if it's in your RV, um, it's still gonna be pretty much in one place most of the time or you're gonna be swearing every time you're trying to move it around. So the portable argument, I disagree with. It's really not portable. It's a, it's a power station and, you know, compare it to other pow all other power stations. All right, so we've got the specs now on the, uh, EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 uh, URL, and this is where we get into the details, which is great. The, the really big story here, um, to me anyway, that I want to highlight, uh, that I don't know if everyone's talking about, is that it does actually support the, or the original Delta Pro extra batteries. That is big, because if they had missed on this, <laughs> well, it would have been... Well, I, I could go for for ages on, on how bad that would have been. I'll, I'll just say that this is great news. This means that you can take your uh, Delta Pro and swap it out for a Delta Pro 3 and still use your extra batteries as long as there, there's a bunch of caveats with that. The, the extra batteries, um, you have to have them on the latest firmware. They do indicate that there might be um, state of charge imbalance issues with the extra batteries, but Technically, it will work um, as long as you don't have the smart home panel, the original smart home. Next, let's talk about the solar charging because this is pretty important as well. We knew that there was two charging ports. Um, we knew that there was a 1600 watt and a 1000 watt port. We didn't know the voltage specs. Now we do. And it's it's disappointing to me. I, I, <laughs> I expected better, but the what they're calling the high... <laughs> PV input goes up to 150 volts, same as the original Delta Pro, and what they're calling the low PV input goes up to 60 volts at 20 amps. Now, first of all, 150 volts is not high voltage. I, <laughs> I, I could get up, climb up on my soapbox on this. Like, I'm very disappointed that they didn't include a 450 volt input because that is kind of like the de facto standard now for basically everything they did it for the ultra they're not doing it for the pro 3 um but if they're not doing 450 then they should at least done something like 300 volts or something like that um an in-between ground and a higher uh, overall wattage input but they didn't they stuck with basically the exact same thing that's currently in the delta pro but they did add on this low voltage uh, input for another thousand watts which is 60 volts at 20 amps 
I'll get back down off my soapbox and stop complaining. I will say this is good. This is nice. And, and kind of one of the big use cases that I'm thinking of is if you're like me, uh, and I've done several videos on this, where you want to integrate an external battery bank, now you can do this by use, utilizing the low voltage input and still having a solar array connected to your high voltage input. So that's pretty cool. There, there's probably going to be some things you'll have to be careful of with that. But the point is, you could act. This is the the first unit that you could have a an external battery bank and a solar array going into it at the same time. Um, so that's pretty unique and pretty cool. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if anyone takes advantage of that. The question that's in a lot of people's mind is, who's the big loser here? <laughs> Well, it's easy to say that Delta, the original Delta Pro is the big loser, but that's not actually true. Um, the original smart home panel is the biggest loser in this case. Uh, if you look at the compatibility, there is zero compatibility for the original smart home panel with any of, of the new products from EcoFlow. The Delta Pro 3 is not compatible. The Delta Pro Ultra is not compatible. It's completely a dead product. The original smart home panel is about as dead as dead can get. Um, there's just no current products in any way that work with it. And that is really disappointing. If you've invested and bought them and had you know, probably an electrician install one as they recommend, you've invested a lot of money for a dead product. That's a bit of a punch in the gut. The other thing that you have to question is EcoFlow's product vision. Um, I'm not trying to cash aid because they, uh, they are still, in my opinion, the best in this space. However, <laughs> they've shown that they are not committed to maintaining backwards compatibility with their products. They're not afraid to completely cut off customers that have already invested into their ecosystem. And the question is, going forward, is this going to happen again? Because if you're sitting there today and you're thinking, I might buy the Delta Pro Ultra, or I might be considering the Delta Pro 3, or the new Smart Home Panel 2, um, I'd be concerned that in one to two years, maybe three years, EcoFlow comes out with something cool and new and completely relegates your existing system to garbage. That's that's a risk because they've shown they've done it before with the Delta Pro and this original smart home panel. Um, and that's very unsettling for a consumer, especially when we're talking the type of investment that, that we're making here. So that is a caveat. That's a concern I have. I'm not saying this will happen. I'm just saying that it has happened and it could happen again. So that's something to keep in mind as you're thinking about the new Delta Pro 3 and, and really just everything coming out from EcoFlow right now. Now, there's one more thing I do want to mention. I will have the link for this. EcoFlow does have, they don't talk about it a lot, but they do have a trade-in program. You can trade in your existing products uh, and get a credit with EcoFlow to their store um, for, you know, maybe a different product. Right now, uh, last time I checked, I assume it's about the same. The original Delta Pro will net you a $1,200 trade-in credit with EcoFlow. Now... That's only through their store. It will not work with their um, eBay store, which is disappointing because some of the products they have on their eBay store, they do not have on their, their US site. Uh, so you can't take advantage of that. For example, you cannot get the refurbished Delta Pro Ultra right now through their uh, site. Hopefully, eventually they will. But you can get that through the eBay store. So getting a gift card could cause you some problems there. But it is nice that they have this program. So if you have a Delta Pro and you're thinking about upgrading, $1,200 doesn't quite, well, it doesn't get you there. But <laughs> it's better than nothing if you're worried about be it becoming just a relic in your garage. The other negative thing about the trade-in program is there is zero uh, option for the original smart home panel. You cannot trade that back into them at any price. And that's also kind of a, a major bummer. So that kind of wraps up the, my final observations on the Delta Pro 3. I think it's a fine model. I would have called it the Delta Pro 1.5, not the Delta Pro 3. Um, because it just basically takes what the Delta Pro has uh, and 
and kind of brings it to the current expectations with 240 split phase output, um, a slightly higher um, continuous output, slightly higher capacity, um, just kind of streamlines the product. It evolves the product. Um, the fact that it preserves the compatibility with the existing extra batteries is big. That is important. I don't want to undersell that um, because it means that someone could just take their existing Delta Pro, swap out the that for a Delta Pro 3 and still keep most of the other ecosystem alive, except for, as I've mentioned, the smart home panel problem. Like that's a real problem that EcoFlow did not think through. But anyway, that's, that's an aside. So it, it's a good product at its current MSRP of 36 or $3,700. I have a real hard time justifying that when I consider that just for a bit more, I can get the Ultra. Um, it just doesn't make sense yet, but I think it will as the price comes down. And, and um, you know, it, it's a good next step for EcoFlow and for the Delta Pro lineup. It's not like a flawless next step. It's it's a like two steps forward, one step backward kind of move for them, I think. Those are just my thoughts. I'm interested in hearing what you think, whether you're excited about it, whether you want to buy it right away, if you're going to plunk your money down, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments and, and let me know why. Thanks for watching.